I'm Richard Chan, reading for Young Hero. I'm Alexander, and I'll be reading for Cloudsy. Good morning, Cloudsy, you cute little ball of cloud fluff, you. I don't concern myself to be a ball of fluff. You want to go outside? Okay, I'm coming. Hurry up! <laughs> oh, what? That, that storm is rolling in rather quickly, Cloudsy. You sure you want to go outside right now? Yes, I want to go outside and take in the horizon. Hey, wait for me. Let's see if you can keep up. This isn't any ordinary lighting, lightning, is it, Cloudsy? Oh no, the lightning has struck the love lands. We have to chase off the sky gorgs before they completely destroy the love lands. I hate the sky gorgs. You ready, Cloudsy? Let the battle begin. Good morning, Cloudsy, you cute little ball of cloud fluff, you. I don't consider myself to be a ball of fluff. You want to go outside? Okay, I'm coming. Hurry up! Whoa, that storm is rolling in rather quickly, Cloudsy. Yes. You sure, you sure you want to go outside right now? Yes, I want to go outside and take in the horizon. Hey, wait for me. Let's see if you can keep up. This isn't any ordinary lightning, is it, Cloudsy? Oh no, the lightning has struck the love lands. We have to chase off the sky gorgs before they completely destroy the love lands. I hate the sky gorgs. You ready, Cloudsy? Let, Let the, the battle, battle begin. begin. <laughs> I'm Kathy Lopez, and I'll be reading for Cloudsy. And I'm Mackenzie Kruger. I'll be reading for Young Hero. Good morning, Cloudsy. <laughs> Good morning, Cloudsy, you cute little ball of cloud fluff, you. I don't consider myself to be a ball of fluff. You want to go outside? Uh, okay, I'm coming. Hurry up. Whoa, that storm is rolling in rather quickly, Cloudsy. You sure you want to go outside right now? Yes, I want to go outside and take in the horizon. Hey, wait for me. Let's see if you can keep up. This isn't er any ordinary lighting, is it, Cloudsy? Oh no, the lightning has struck the Lovelands. We have to chase off the Skygorgs before they completely destroy the Lovelands. I hate the Skygorgs. You ready, Cloudsy? Let, Let the, the battle, battle begin. begin. Another five minute mystery. Our story takes place in Green's Cap, a small town in the Southern Cavern District. Ring! Ring! Green's Grab Hospital, Dr. Melville speaking. Doctor, doctor, there's been an accident out at Echo Cavern. Accident? What kind of accident? Uh, well, two men was uh, exploring and they got lost last night. One's unconscious. You better come quick before he's dead. I hope you know how to get to Echo Haven, Lem. With the job of being town constable and ambulance driver, I reckon I know all there is to know about this country. Ever been in the cavern, Lem? Once, Doc Melville, when I was a boy. Neither got my hide tanned off by my paw. Echo Cavern is a mite treacherous place. You mean it's easy to get lost in? Not only that, Doc, it's that cavern gas, carbine, mmm, something. You mean carbon dioxide? Yes, that's it. All of a sudden you run into some of that stuff, and before you know it, bing, you're out. Still people seem to go exploring there. More fools to be. I wouldn't go in them caverns, at least till I was not without a dog. A dog? What for? Well, if a dog kills over it, then you know the gas is collecting. I'm afraid, Mr. Getty, your friend is dead. Poor Patsy. It was from the gas, wasn't it, Doc? That's not what it looks like to me. Why did you go in that cavern anyway? Patsy asked me to. He never seen a cave before. How far did you go in? Well, it didn't seem very far, but all of a sudden we lost our way. Where was that? Well, how do I know whereabouts if it was we was lost? We tried to trace our way back. It wasn't no use. Patsy started to get scared. It's kind of funny to see a big guy like that get scared. Yes, he is rather big, isn't he? Yes, six foot four. Mob used to call us Mutt and Jeff. And then what happened? Well, I was a little scared myself, but we stuck together. You know, walking in the dark with only my flash from the car, all of a sudden, Pat's keeled over. From the gas? Yeah, that's what I figured. His head hit on a rock, and I guess that just about finished him off. I suppose you reckon yourself pretty lucky, mister. Sure. I figure it's because I'm only five foot three that I got out of there alive. Gas must have been just about a foot over my head. Yeah? What do you think about that, Doc Melville? I think I'd better arrest Mr. Gaddy for the murder of his friend Patsy. What was the flaw in Gaddy's story? Do you know it? In a moment, we'll hear from Liam and Dr. Meville. And now, let's see whether you're 
as a Zur, as Liam, and a doctor. Hey, Kappa, let me put my hands down. They're tied. When you're in Green Gap's jail, not before. I don't get it. That was a good story. I still can't figure out how you found out. Lem tells me they used to take dogs into the cavern because the gas is heavier than air. It collects on the floor. If you really met gas, you would have keeled over first before your pal Patsy. Well, what do you know? I tell you, nowadays in this murder racket, you need a college education. <laughs> Another five minute mystery. Our story takes place in the Green Gaps, a small town in the Southern Cavern District. Green's Grab Hospital, Dr. Melville speaking. Doctor, doctor, there's been an accident at the Echo Cavern. Accident? What kind of accident? Well, you know, two men was exploring, they got lost last night, one's unconscious, you better come quick before he's dead. I hope you know how to get out of Echo Cavern, Lem. With the job of being town constable and ambulance driver, I reckon I know all there is to know about this country. Ever been in the cavern, Lem? Once, Doc Melville. When I was a boy, nearly got my high tent off by my pop. Echo Cavern is a mite treacherous place. You mean it's easy to get lost in it? Not only that, Doc. It's that cavern gas carbon something. You mean carbon monoxide? Yes, that's it. All of a sudden, you run into some of that stuff, and before you know it, bing, you're out. Still, people seem to go exploring there. More fools to be. I wouldn't go in them caverns. At least till I was not without a dog. A dog? What for? Well, if a dog kills over it, then you know the gas is collecting. I'm afraid, Mr. Gaddy, your friend is dead. Poor Patsy. It was from the gas, wasn't it, Doc? Well, that's what it looks like to me. Why did you go in that cavern anyway? Patsy asked me to. He never seen a cave before. How far did you go in? Well, it didn't seem very far, but all of a sudden we lost our way. Where was that? How do I know whereabouts if it was we was lost? We tried to trace our way back, but it wasn't no use. Patsy started to get scared. It's kind of funny to see a big guy like that get scared. Yes, he is rather big, isn't he? Yeah, six foot four. The mob used to call us Mutt and Jeff. And then what happened? Well, I was a little scared myself, but we stuck together. You know, walking in the dark with all my flash on the car. All of a sudden, Pat's killed over. From the gas? That's what I figured. His head hit on a rock, and I guess I just about finished him off. I suppose you reckon yourself pretty lucky, mister. Sure. I figure it's because I'm only five foot three that I got out there alive. The gas must have been just about a foot over my head. Yeah. And what do you think about that, Doc Melville? I think you better arrest Mr. Gaddy for the murder of his friend Patsy. <gasps> what was the flaw in Guy's story? Do you know it? In a moment, we'll hear from Liam and Dr. Meville. And now, let's see whether you're as azurant as Liam and the doctor. Hey, copper. Let me put my hands down. They're tired. When you're in Green Gap's jail, not before. I don't get it. It was a good story. I still can't figure out how you found out. Lem tells me they used to take dogs into the caverns because the gas is heavier than air. It collects on the floor. If you really met gas, you would have kneeled over first before your pal Patsy. Well, why do you know? I tell you nowadays in this murder racket, you need a college education. <laughs>